Uh, what is uh, the sunken chest, the pectus excavatum? Uh, is the depression of breastbone and is usually uh, seen uh, at the birth or uh, a few years later of the patient. Uh, it's generally seen in the male patients. Uh, the male to female ratio is like 3 to 4 over 1. Uh, the breastbone depression majorly uh, ha gives no complaints. But if the patient have uh, complaints, uh, the pain, palpitation and exertional uh, dyspnea, shortness of breath, might happen. How do we diagnose the uh, sunken chest, the pex excavatum? Uh, most of the time the family and the uh, patient uh, has complaints about the depressed breast bone and it's usually seen from the birth. Uh, sometimes the patient has uh, symptoms, uh, palpitations, uh, exertional dyspnea, uh, and chest pain. But uh, radiologically, we use chest x-rays, the plain chest x-rays, and computerized tomography. If we think of other uh, pathologies, we then uh, use the EKG and ECHO for uh, diagnosing any pathology of the heart. Uh, how do we treat the uh, sunken chest, the plexus excavatum? Uh, we have surgical and non-surgical treatments. The surgical treatments are uh, the modified Ravitch classical uh, uh, technique, which is done in open uh, way. Uh, the other uh, closed surgical techniques are the NUS procedure, which we uh, insert a metal bar under the uh, breast bone. Uh, and the other one is uh, the non-surgical technique is the uh, vacuum uh, bell uh, surgery. Uh, we use it uh, over the breast bone and uh, for, for at least one or two years. Uh, how we, do we treat the uh, sunken chest uh, by a non-surgical uh, treatment method? Uh, we call it vacuum bell uh, method. Uh, the patient generally uh, use it uh, for at least uh, 8 to 12 hours a day for 18 to 24 hours. Uh, if in this period, the compliance of the patient and the family is very, very important. If they can manage to use it for at least uh, two years, the success rate at the end is like 80% for this technique. Uh, what are the open surgical techniques for treating uh, sunken chest, the pectus excavatum? These are the modified classical Ravitch method and the uh, Robichstack method. Uh, in the Ravitch method, we use uh, an open uh, incision uh, and we take out all the deformed uh, cartilage out and then reform, reshape the uh, sternum in normal position and then suture the, uh, the, pec the ribs uh, to the sternum again. Uh, in the Ravitch method, we, we can put a strut, a metal strut under the sunken chest. But in the uh, Robichak method, it's all the same, the technique, but we use a mesh, uh, putting it under the sunken chest. How do we treat the sunken chest, the pectus excavatum, using a, a closed technique? We call it the NUS procedure. In this technique, we use the vast uh, surgical uh, instruments, and we put a Lorenz bar uh, under the uh, sunken chest, and under the breastbone, which protrudes the uh, breastbone forward and corrects the position. Uh, after uh, three years, we uh, take out the Lorenz bar uh, using a 30 minutes uh, general anesthesia surgery. This technique has a success rate of like 95 to 99% for correcting the sunken chest.